we're now seeing each other, not just the uh, upper part of our um, body it's through Zoom, but now we can really see the, the interaction now and then Super glad, super happy the, that we finally have this face-to-face uh, -face event. Uh, of course, all of this growth that we're experiencing right now, I would dare to say that it's all because of you, our members. After more than two years, grounded in Singapore, it is indeed a good pleasure that to be here today in presence physically in this event today. Thank you for having me today. Salamat. IMA envisions to be the leading resource for developing, certifying, connecting, and supporting the world's best accountants and financial professionals. And I believe that this event, the IMA Summit 2022, is one of the ways by which we can realize that vision. So I invite all of you, let us jointly realize that vision here today. Thank you everyone. Mabuhay! so proud of all of you and I'm so proud to be the team to support this region and in particular to the Philippines members. I would like to congratulate to all IMA Philippine chapters for this submit and on behalf of IMA, thank you for your support and dedication. I look forward to a wonderful event today. Thank you so much. Salamat. something uh, don't wait for someone else to make it happen join the movement be the change so i am inviting everyone all the members present here today and to resume join us volunteer be active a lot of opportunities academic and leadership opportunities join us and be be in the forefront so i believe with your help, we can have the same results or even, even surpass it. I will be responsible for guiding the chapter board and volunteer leaders through another year of rapid growth in the management accounting landscape. Join us in the team as volunteer leaders and let us raise the flag of the Philippines once again. Consider this event extra special to me. Do you know that God created us to be leaders? So there is inherent leadership within us. Personal leadership is the leadership of the self. It is your commitment to take lead in your own life. It is the ability to define a direction for your life and to move in that direction with consistency and clarity over time.
college who are training students who would like to become CPAs. In the training room, in corporate training, we are training managers. We are training professionals. We don't want them to take the CPA board exam. We want them to apply their knowledge to their work. So that's, those are different things. So I train professionals to become trainers. of us have the opportunity to become an inclusive leader and to empower everybody that we work with to also take ownership and accountability in this work. So connect with people, no? always take into account your audience, no? what their needs are, you know, doing visualization ethically try to convey one idea guys so you have to be consistent and focused you know uh, you can deliver the right message by just focusing on a few ideas not too many going digital opens up opportunity to veer away from manual processes when we start automating things, we, we open more business opportunities and also we can reallocate some resources. We value our customer feedback and surveys because all of this will show opportunities and will be the foundation of our infrastructure and our service. This is the basic, the first step. Customers are at the center of our business strategies, so much so at the center of building competitive advantage by digital transformation.